Yo, Pac-Man, Whack-Man, Game & Watch a Black Man, Making bids, getting bids, taking subs, that's the plan. Aw, shit. Hey, everyone, how are we doing today? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I am feeling motivated today, boys. And what's got me motivated? Well, it's fear. It's fear, boys. It's fear that I won't be able to reach my goals in life. Or maybe that I just don't exactly know what my goals are. You see, I've switched from a part-time job to a full-time one recently because I needed money to stay afloat. And while it's not a job that I especially hate, it's definitely not something I see myself doing for the rest of my life. But what I do see myself doing is this. This right here. I love this. I really do. But I'm afraid that there's no hope. That I'm slowly going to lose interest and this dream will pitter out as I spend the rest of my life in an endless cycle of unfulfilling work because I never understood what I wanted as a child. At times, at times I feel like this is my lot in life and it sucks. It really sucks. But you know, there's still hope. There's still a chance. If I want to do what I set out for when I released my first video more than a year ago, because my new dream is to make this my full-time job. I gotta harness this fear. I have to continue to move forward. I have to continue to grow. I have to push myself harder than I've been pushing myself because I've been I've been slacking off too much. I need to try a little bit more. I need to think outside the box. I need to reinvent myself and just actually like I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I just I need to try more. I feel like I haven't always been giving it my all. I I just want to, I don't know, I want to find this happiness. I want to continue to be happy and making something entertaining or something informative or I don't, just talking about something that I am really impassioned about, whether that's from love or hate. I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I, I just, I want to let you guys know that I, I'm going to try my best. I'm from here on out I'm going to give it my all I may slip up here and there I don't know I made ups and downs maybe I'll just be back down no motivation next week but I'm gonna keep trying and I just ask that you be patient and I'll do my best for you all <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know this got kind of weird and like off topic what character was I doing again Oh yeah, that's right. No, no, this this works. The going off on big, massive tangents that don't make any sense and aren't really relevant it is perfect. It's fitting. It's great. I need this because there's just so little to talk about. Pac-Man is one of the most recognizable video game characters. He is a legend from the arcade era. It makes perfect sense that he would be in Smash. You know, a game that at this point is used to celebrate all walks of gaming life. But at the same time, Pac-Man's a pretty underwhelming choice. Like, nobody really gives a shit about him. Like, no one under the age of 40 is gonna go, Yeah, Pac-Man's my favorite character. I play all the games. There are so, so many better gaming IPs with characters that we as an audience have grown and latched ourselves onto because they have better games and have genuinely enjoyable personality traits. Joker is in one of the best JRPGs of all time and is a self-insert that is dipped head to toe with style. Donkey Kong is part of the paradigm of platformers and he's just a dumbass monkey who only wears a necktie and is an environmentalist. Hell, Sonic has had two decades of absolute garbage, year after year of sucking dick, all culminating with a bad DeviantArt render for his movie form and a Jim Carrey as his Eggman. Yet the Sonic fanbase is still large and active, latching onto his radical 90s coolness, among other things. Not only does Pac-Man never get any definitive personality traits without his many, many appearances for the past four decades, but every single piece of media he's been in is less successful and acknowledged than his first game. Did you guys know that Pac-Man not only had multiple games across all generations of consoles that range from platformers, arcade ports, kart racers, a Mario Party ripoff with Heihachi, Astaroth, and Black Dynamite, but also 
a shitty cartoon from the 80s akin to the Super Mario Brothers Super Show and a 3D CGI American Canadian Japanese anime where Pac-Man is an anime boy who goes to anime high school and fights villains of the week as he tries to avenge his dead parents where the pink ghost is a ditzy anime girl who wants to slime Pac-Man's dick while at the same time there is a gothic Lolita pink Pac girl who also wants to suck on his power pellets? This was not the timeline I wanted to be a part of. Can I go home? Alright, let's move on to him in the game. Now, Pac-Man Smash Ultimate is a zoner character. <coughs> Fuck! Come on, man, another one? Duck Hunt Dog was two characters ago, and I had recorded their footage back to back because Pac-Man was supposed to originally come after Duck Hunt. But then Joker came out and did his thing, came out of nowhere, you never see it coming. So he was actually one character ago, meaning I had to play two zoners in a row. What? Uh, what? It's fine? It's fine? It's okay. I kind of like Pac-Man a little more. He, he has moves. You know, I kind of like his projectiles better, too. Not because they're the superior move or anything, more so because they're simple and my dumb brain can understand how they work. Like, take the fruit throw. It's just same as a charge shot, but each phase of the charge changes the properties of it. You got straight, fast straight, wee loop de loop A straight that is so slow you think, how would anyone ever get hit by this? As you get hit by it, you dumb fuck. One of my personal favorites is the bell, because it's just so easy to throw and then combo into a free smash. Combo into a free smash. A free smash. Uh, hang on a sec. Alright, there we go. Let's just pull that up. Alright, alright, here we go. Looking good, looking good. Yep, alright. Uh, seems good. Oh, well, uh, that's, that's okay. Uh, alright, let's just back that. Okay, um, perfect. Because it's just so easy to throw and then combo into a free smash. Unfortunately, Pac-Man is still a projectile character, meaning your gameplay with him is the same as every other projectile character. Which is that you are Guile, and this, this is your corner. And you don't leave your corner for anything. People are going to try and invade your corner, but all you got to do is just anti-air them hoes. And then you do your Prince and Scuttle back to your corner and start serving up a full course meal of calcium, potassium, and iron. But then this dog man pulls out his gun 700 times and does his And now suddenly he's the zoning character like what the fuck? But you know what? That's okay. It doesn't matter because he's just a dumb dog So all we got to do is bait him out No, not with that No, well, maybe but that's not what I'm looking for There it is. Yeah, you're playing as a sweet succulent block of cheese that no animal can resist so you just gotta Place your Gouda body right there, mm, and that boy is gonna come running. Yeah. What did I tell you? All right, this is it. If I land the key, I take the stock. Ah, oh, but he's got his reflector, and it looks like he's just waiting to use it. Looks like I'm gonna have to use my maximum brain power on this. I gotta be smart, cunning, clever, unexpected, and most of all, smart. Pac-Man is a character that thrives on enemy confusion. The less you know about the matchup, the better. Like, did you know you can interrupt Pac-Man's dash attack between bites? Or that he can do this? No, you didn't? You haven't gone insane playing a bad character in your least favorite archetype? Weird. Pac-Man just seems to struggle hard in a lot of matchups, especially better zoners. Uh, hey Link. Uh, could you, uh, pl uh... I wanna play the game to... may have a happy face right now, but some days I wish I was the ghost. <sighs> I, I don't know what else to say about this cheese ball. I used a lot of energy complaining about him. He's not my least favorite. He's pretty bad in my eyes. I do hate to play as him, but 
sometimes he just has some goofy, fun tricks that he can play on people. And you know what? That's worth something, I guess. I'll keep at it, guys. I'm gonna keep grinding away. Like and subscribe. Share that. Tell me what you thought. Hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.